Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Carrie and today I'm doing my Renfest haul. Uh, so the Minnesota Renaissance Festival ran from August 20th to October 2nd this year and I went every weekend but Labor Day because that's just who I am and what I do with my life and I bloody love it. I made a new friend, I spent a ton of time at the Viking encampment which is amazing. If you were ever at Renfest, the Viking encampment is phenomenal and I cannot recommend it enough. Um, but I also spent money because that's what you do at a renaissance festival, particularly when it is like the highlighted six, seven weeks of your year. Um, so we'll start with the little sword that I'm flinging around. I got this at the Arms and Armory, Arms and Armor? Arms and Armor shop. They had these little, little viking swords for a dollar, so naturally I got one of those for me. And then, I do not remember the names of all the shops, I'm sorry. Um, but I got candies, lollipops. This one's lemon, and this one's marshmallow, which I've never had. I just really like lemon flavored things, and I was curious about the marshmallow, so we got those. I haven't tried them yet, but I will. The There is a yarn shop. This one is Goldfish Love Fibers, um, and they sell hand-dyed wool yarn, which is very helpful slash vital for null binding, which I learned at Viking Encampment last year. And this year I decided I was going to buy a couple so that I could actually do a project once I'd finished with my sort of practice problem, which is in brown cheap wool yarn that I got from, I think Hobby Lobby, either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but both of them are incredibly difficult to find actual 100% wool yarn. Took me forever. So now I have some extra of this, and I also, she started doing embroidery thread this year, wool and silk cruel, um, which I am super excited about because I, I love using embroidery thread for stuff. Um, and now I have these pretty colors. So we have those, and we'll toss those back in the yarn basket. And then I also got two wool co wood wooden combs. I do have one that's a little bit... Uh, they're thick, they're further apart, um, but I may have accidentally dropped it on my epoxy floor and so the edge came off, so that's currently being glued. But I do have two of them. Um, I've been looking for these for a long time because from what I hear this helps with oily hair. Um, so I would like to try it. And at the very least I'm supporting a local business and they're pretty. Yes, that is the reason being behind like 90% of the stuff I get. Don't judge me. Actually, at this point, it's far too late. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I also got my own little leather pouch because, duh, um, I do carry around a backpack while I'm there. It's just a little bit easier, but this way, once I get a belt, which is probably an opening weekend purchase of next year, um, I can just put this right on my belt and we are all good to go. So that's super exciting. It's very cute. It's a little bit bigger than well, maybe a little bit smaller. It's about the size of my hand. Let's go with that. And then I got a bodice cooler with a little turtle on top, so you can put, you know, cold water, cold something in here, or you can put uncooked, uh, heated up rice in here to make it a bodice warmer. And you just stick it right down there, and it apparently works really well. I got this last weekend, so I didn't really have the opportunity to test it because it was only in the mid-70s, so it wasn't heat stroke level uh, weather, which was lovely, quite frankly. But I did get this for next year so that I am prepared and it will stay in my lovely little new pouch. I also got one of these nifty little hair things um, that I could never figure out as a child, but all you have to do is bloody turn the thing and pull it out. Nobody ever told me that bit. So you, you know, stick it in, curve that way, and then you twist it, right? So it's, it's very, it's very clever. Um, and the lady did my hair with it while I was there, which I loved because then I could see, you know, how you do it. And I would really like not to have to put my hair up in elastics all the time because they do give me a headache if I wear them for too long too tightly. So if I have this option, why would I not take it? Then I bought this lovely little thing. There is an artist at Renfest do I know his name? Nope, absolutely not. Not intentional, I just don't know it. Um, but he 
sketched Renfest. Um, sort of the big parts of it. So Water Wheel is over in my right, and then you kind of go through various buildings. Bad Manor here, right above my nose, um, and whatnot. And they're just, they're beautiful, and obviously I needed one of those. I also, if I don't sit on it, got a headband. Whoops. So you see, and yes, one of the jewels is missing. That will be repaired, hopefully, by next year. I'm working on it. Um, to match my purple shiny dress, uh, which if you haven't seen it, go back and check out last year's haul because that's the one I bought then. This is from Enchanted Hat, which is one of the stores at Renfest. And I get so many compliments <laughs> on that headband. I also, from I believe North Star Leather, got these van braces. So this one has a pattern on it, this one does not. Um, but I saw the roses and just decided that I needed it because roses, tutors, obviously. And then it came with knives. I didn't really mean for it to come with knives, um, but it did and I'm not gonna say no. So that's gonna be fun. I just have to find an outfit with which I, with which they match more specifically. Let's see. And then I got a whole bunch of earrings, including these gold bat earrings from somewhere. I don't remember the shop name. It's got pretty hats in it. And I met a lovely couple. He was in the army for 11 years. Uh, she has a purple dress with a black corset and bought a purple and black hat to go with it. Anyway, you meet wonderful people at Renfest. Um, but I bought these uh, because they're cute and quite frankly because they remind me of Sophia from Sophia Nygaard. <laughs> And also, they match my one and only Halloween shirt. And then this mug, I did not, or goblet, I did not buy there. My dad made this for me. It's one of a pair uh, that he made me and swears he will never make goblets again because apparently they're a pain in the ass to make. So, thanks, Dad! Um, but I got three different ear cuffs. So, there's this one, which is a mirrored image of, like, C's basically with the little swirls inside. Uh, so there's that one. And then I got one that's a little gecko climbing up and it's currently at the bottom because naturally, um, don't do that. There is a place at Renfest called the Dragon Hatchery and it is adorable. That's where I got my leather dragons last year. And this year they had earrings. So I got little purple ones to go with my purple dress, obviously. And I got little blue ones to go with my blue dress because duh. So I got all of those and then I got some really pretty chainmail earrings from one of the two chainmail shops. Again, I don't remember the name, I'm really sorry. Uh, but these also go really well with my blue dress. There we go. Alright, and then there's my little gecko ear cuff. Super cute, it looks like he's climbing up your little ear. It's adorable and I love him. And then I got another ear cuff, just a sort of plain banded one with roses on it. That was the first one I got this year. Um, I may really like earrings, but also I have a whole bunch of earrings, like 50 plus pair that I've accumulated since I was a kid. Um, except that since moving, I don't remember which box they're in. And so I don't have them, which means that I basically have to reaccumulate my earring collection. And you know what? I'm not mad at doing about doing it about that. About doing it at Ren Fest. I can talk, I swear to you. Okay. Um, I also found a new musical group this year because Fate's Folly, the duo that I absolutely adore still, uh, was not there this year. So instead, I went and saw the Court Revelers every time and I got one of their CDs. They are a singing group, should be fairly obvious, um, and they do essentially like a sketch their entire way through. So it's either that one of them is solving a mystery with the other one or one of them is, you know, trying to teach another one of them lessons and the songs are funny and sad and just, they're lovely. So I, I wanted a CD of theirs so that I could listen to them year-round for the next 11 months until I can listen to them in person. So yes, CD. Um, I'm going to rip it to mp3 so that I can put it on my phone and then I'll just leave it in my car and listen to it then. And 
penultimately, I got one of these candles. I have taken everybody I took to Renfest uh, to these candles. I bought one for my friend Courtney's birthday, which I can say because her birthday was in July and I have given it to her long since. Uh, let's see, my sister bought one, my friend from Rochester bought one, my cousin bought one, I bought one for myself, this one, um, and because I know my parents don't watch this, I bought my mother one for Christmas. <laughs> um, and if you are interested, it is fairysecrets.net. So the only ingredients in this are soya, African shea butter, jojoba, avocado, coconut, virgin olive oil, and aloe vera, and then just essential oils for the scent. Um, it is a lotion candle, which I probably should have started with, but it is a lotion candle. So you, you know, light the thing for 20 minutes, blow it out, and then dip your finger, just the tip of your finger, into it, and that will cover your hands. According to the people at the shop, if you use it over your entire body, it'll last you between 8 and 12 months, which I think is phenomenal. And this one is pomegranate cider. It is a very fall scent, which I'm not usually into because I can't stand fall. It reminds me of death. Not as much as spring, but it's still death related and not in the good way. So not usually my scent, but I really like this pomegranate cider scent, which means obviously that I needed one and now I can get rid of every Bath and Body Work lotion as soon as I find them because they are also in a box somewhere. And I honest to God have no idea where they are. So <laughs> we're going to use this now instead. And then, and then, my biggest and probably favorite purchase this year, and by biggest I mean most expensive, um, as in like I saved up for a while, uh, was definitely my Son of Sandlar boots. I have been eyeballing these boots, god, since 2018 when I think I didn't, well, I, well, I know I didn't have a season pass, I went maybe once or twice, um, but I have been eyeballing these boots for years clearly and finally gave in and bought them they are the most comfortable shoes i think i've ever owned in my life and for several hundred dollars they better be um i, has, I have yet to oil them for the end of the season but this is not what they look like when i came back at the end of last weekend because they were brown it was very dusty however they are gorgeous and i am in love with them they formed to my feet over the course of the first day I wore them when I bought them at the beginning of the season and I've worn them every day since. Well, to festival anyway, I haven't worn them in my daily life yet, although with winter coming I'm quite sure I will be. So yeah, these are probably my favorite uh, purchase I've made this year. Absolutely 110% worth it. Yeah, that is everything I bought at Renvest this year. Yes it is a lot, do I care? No. And I am already counting down until I can go back next year. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!